Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, let's understand the purchase order process with accounting entry. When we do a purchase order process, we have an accounting impact. So let's understand what are those accounting entries. First, let's understand the purchase order process and then we'll see when the accounting entry will come into picture. Let's say we have P2P cycle and let's say accounting entries. Accounting entries. So the, when we come to purchase order, so obviously we have, you know, the request for quotation which will be created and from that we convert that to purchase order. So let's say the first step we do is create purchase order. When we create a purchase order, there will be no accounting impact. So basically, it is just an order that we are creating in the system and therefore you don't see any accounting impact. Once we're done with purchase order, we then go for GR, that is goods receipt. When we do GR, there will be an accounting impact. What is the accounting entry? We'll see that later. So after GR, let's say we go for invoice, and for invoice as well, we have an accounting entry, and then comes payment, that's your when a payment, and here as well, we have an accounting entry. <coughs> so this is the P2P cycle, and this is where the accounting impact comes into picture. So let's understand what is the accounting entry that will be booked during GR process. So GR, GR is basically goods received. So as the term says, at GR stage, we're actually receiving a physical product in the warehouse. Therefore, it will be an inventory that is coming inside. So as we know, we need to debit the asset account. So here, it will be cost of purchase material, cost of purchase materials received. Since we are receiving this, it will be cost of purchase material received, which will be debited. And as I said, this is my asset account. Okay, This is the actual inventory account where it's getting debited because there's a physical presence in my warehouse once we do GR. And on the liability side, it will be purchase accrual. Now, why it is purchase accrual? Because this is a control account. This is basically a temporary account and this will be reversed in the invoice stage. So here, we don't have vendor bookings or we don't have a cash payment, right? So that's why we are selecting purchase accrual and this will be my liability account. So once we are done with GR, then we go for invoice. That's the next step. So as we see at the invoice as well, we have an accounting impact. So here at GR, uh, oh, sorry, at the invoice level, uh, the first entry will be GR reversal. So why is GR getting reversed here? GR is getting reversed because uh, as I told, this is a temporary accounting entry. No, okay. Now this gets reversed during uh, invoice that is your purchase accrual will be debited which was credited previously and cost of purchase material received will be credited in this way this account gets negotiated the temporary account gets balanced out once GR is reversed then comes the actual invoice entry that is cost of purchase material okay will be Deli uh, from received it goes to invoiced so here it was cost of purchase material received now it will be cost of purchase material invoiced which will be debited and your vendor will be credited this will be the accounting entry during your invoice now this again the cost of purchase material invoiced is my asset account now here we can actually use the same main account here whatever we use for cost of purchase material we can use the same account for invoiced or we can have separate main accounts so just by seeing this main account you understand the balance in that account is all your received and the balance in this account is actually invoiced so if you want to have this differentiation then you can create two different accounts or you can use the same main account this depends upon the company's requirement so once this is done then you go for payment. 
So uh, as we know for vendor payment, it will be vendor to bank. This will be the payment accounting entry. So the payment accounting entry has nothing to do much with uh, purchase order. So uh, this is the accounting entry that you see uh, during the purchase order process. Now, where does the system pick main accounts for this? So for GR and invoice, whatever accounting entry you see here, except for vendor, where it's coming from your AP module, there is a setup called item group. So item group is a place where we assign main accounts for my purchase order process. So once you assign a main account for item group, this item group will be connected with your item. So when you create a purchase order, select a specific item, that item will be connected with item group and item group connects all your main accounts. That is how when you perform your P2P process, main accounts comes into picture and this will be the accounting entry that will be posted. So let's actually get into the system, configure this and see how accounting entry will be posted during each process. So as I explained, the main accounts for the purchase order process is picked from item group. So let's go for item group setup. Go to modules, then go to inventory management, setup, inventory, and here you get item group. So click on item group. So this is where you create main account. So here you can see you have sales order, we have purchase order, we have inventory, production. So you can see there are different actions that can be done. So currently we want to do purchase order and therefore you select purchase order. So I've already actually created the item group and assigned the main accounts. But I've already explained what type of asset or what type of account you need to create to assign here. So here you can see for cost of purchase material received. Uh, so it's my asset account that is my materials received. So let me show that, let's say edit. So select the drop, right click, view details. So this is the account which I've assigned for cost of purchase material received. So if you see here, it is my asset account. So I have created one more account for my invoice. So as I explained, you can either use the same account or have two types of account and both will be your asset account. So I have given material invoice and material receipt. Additionally, I've also created my purchase accruals. So if you see here, the purchase accruals is my liability. So that's the three account you need. Two asset account, one liability account. Additionally, uh, uh, let me close this. So here, if you see, you have purchase expenditure. So what happens is when we go for this P2P process, right? Even though you don't have any expenditure, we have this uh, purchase expenditure for product. This accounting entry will be booked. Uh, even if it's zero balance, you will see a line where purchase expenditure for product will be there. Uh, so that's why we need to create one expense account. And I'm going to create one expense account for both purchase expenditure for animals and percent, uh, purchase expenditure for product. So I assign that expense account for both this. So once we create an item group, uh, this item group should be connected with the item which we're gonna use in my purchase order process. So let's go to the item. So go to product information management. Then let's go for products and release products. So let's say I, I want to, you know, I, let's use iPhone for my P2P process. So let's pick this. So how to create an item? I will make a separate video where I will explain how to create a release product. So this you can see here already is being created. So for this item, if you scroll down here, we will see manage cost. So under manage cost, we can see item group. So this is the item group which we created in the previous step where all the main accounts is assigned. So that item group is now connected with my item called iPhone. Now, when we go for purchase order process, select my iPhone item, main accounts will be picked via item group. So let's go for purchase order process. So go to accounts payable, purchase order, all purchase order. 
let's create a new purchase order click new select the window from where you want to purchase let's say i'll select printer once the vendor is selected click ok so once we enter the purchase order let's add the item so the item that i'm going to use will be iphone remember the item group which we created is assigned to item iphone and therefore i'm selecting that once we add the item we need to confirm the purchase order so click purchase and under action click confirm this will confirm the purchase order once the purchase order is confirmed now let's go for next step that is my gr click receive and under generate click product receipt once we enter the product receipt here enter the product receipt number verify the line details and click ok once gr is done now click on receive and click under journals to see the accounting impact so if you remember when we do gr the accounting entry is cost of purchase material received to purchase accrual this is what the expected accounting entry so let's go to the system and click on vouchers so here you can see the accounting entry under posting type that is cost of purchase material received is debited and purchase accrual is credited and that was the expected accounting entry now let's go for invoice so close this and click invoice and under generate click invoice once we come to invoice tab let me fill the invoice number and invoice date then click update match status once the match status is passed now let's click post once the invoice is posted click on invoice under journals click invoice and here is the transaction click on voucher so here you can see the accounting entry that is posted so the expected accounting entries first there will be reversal of gr that is purchase accrual should be credited and cost of purchase material received should be debited so if you go to system here we can see purchase accrual being debited and cost of purchase material received being credited the next you should have cost of purchase material invoiced debit vendor credit so here we can see cost of purchase material invoiced debit vendor credit and as i explained there will be one line for purchase expenditure for product even though there is no expenditure this line will always be there therefore we need to assign main account for this as well that's it for today's video thank you